Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a serverless website with Alibaba Cloud's Function Compute. Go to the console page and click through to Function Compute. Click the Add button beside Services. In the Service slide-out, give your service a name, an optional description, and then slide open the Advanced Settings. We will need Internet access, so make sure this configuration is on. We will leave VPC and Log Configs as they are. In the Role Config section, select Create New Role, and in the drop-down list, pick Aliyun OSS Read-Only Access, as we will be accessing our static web pages from an Object Storage Service bucket. Click Authorize. You will see a summary of the role you created. Click Confirm Authorization Policy. You have successfully added the role to the service. Click OK. You will see the details of the function compute service you just created. Now let's create a function in the service. Click the Add button next to Functions. You will see the Create Function process. Let's choose the Flask Web function written in Python 2.7. Click Select. We are now at the Configure Triggers section of creating a function. Select HTTP Trigger from the drop down list. Give the trigger a name and choose Authorization Details. Anonymous does not require authorization. Choose your HTTP methods and click Next. Now we arrive at the Configure Function settings. Give the function a name, then scroll down to Code Details. We'll leave the supplied code for now. Scroll down to below the code sample. You will see Environment Variable Input Options and Runtime Environment Details. Click Next. Click Next at Configure Function Permissions. Verify the configuration details and click Create. You will arrive at the function's IDE. Here you can enter new code, edit the code directly, upload code folders, run, test, and fix your code. Scroll down. Copy the URL as we will need to update the base path variable in the code with this, as well as add it to our static web pages, so they can connect to our function compute service and function. Let's create some static files in an OSS bucket so we can test the function properly. Click through to Object Storage Service on the Products page. In the OSS console, click Create Bucket. Choose a name for the OSS bucket and pick the region. You cannot change the region later. We have selected Public Read Write for the access control list. When you're ready, click OK. You will see the overview page for your bucket. Make a note of the public internet URL. In the Files tab, upload your static web files. We have uploaded a simple index.html homepage and a background picture. In index.html, we added a JavaScript which connects to the Flask app Function Compute Functions URL. Back in OSS, in Basic Settings, click Configure to configure your static pages. Add the home page details and click Save. Now go to a new browser window and access the OSS URL you saved earlier. Back in the Function Compute console, you can now test the Flask app paths directly from the code. First, check index.html with get. Next, check the sign-in page with get. Finally, check the sign-in page with post, entering the input details. The sign-in page code is working correctly. Of course, any errors you encounter will show up in the log section for easy debugging. Now, let's test this page on the internet. Go to the browser and access the bucket URL with the correct path. You will see the sign-in page. The correct response downloads as an HTML file. In order to render this file, we have to bind a custom domain to function compute. We will show you how to do this in a future tutorial. You now know how to create a serverless website with Alibaba Cloud's Function Compute. Thanks for watching.